Hey loves, today I'm gonna do a tour of my daughter's room that has special needs. She is my oldest daughter and I have just grown up with her. I love her so much and making the room nice for her has been the biggest challenge for me. Um, I don't know what she likes. She can't tell me, so I just have to guess. And um, this is her room. It is a little crowded in here because she has just so much equipment and things like that. Um, here is a shampoo bowl that I had installed, and I actually took it to a car paint place because I think it was gray when I bought it. And... Um, they painted it pink for me, so I was super excited, and they wouldn't even let me pay them. Um, and then in those caboodles, she just has, like, extra beauty stuff there. Then I've got some shelves here with her face wash and face brush on there. She's got a Mia, just like me. Um, and then I've got these baskets here with her washcloths in them. And then up here is a projector. I hope that light isn't blinding you guys, but this puts, like, butterflies, fish, stars, whatever disc I want to put in there. Um, it puts them all around her and projects them onto her walls. This attic door is in her room, but I tried to dress it up a little bit, but it never really closes. And I need to get somebody here to put a different latch on that there. Um, this is a little um, dim there. I guess I should have turned the light on. I'm sorry. This is her closet, and of course she's got clothes in there, um, but this side is mostly just for extra storage for her diapers and formula, um, medications, and things like that there. Um, and then let me move her. So this is her shower area over here. Oh, I should have prepared better. I'm sorry. There's a huge hammock chair in the way here. So this is her shower area here. I had a um, roll-in shower installed in the corner of this room um, just because it's impossible to get her into any kind of regular shower or bathtub. Um, I had the shower curtain made custom on Etsy and I just love it so much. I think it was Amy's Country Ruffles or something like that that made the shower. So this is her shower on the inside and she's got her shower chair there and then just little shelves and stuff for her soaps, hair brushes, um, things like that. I do need to get a longer shower hose because just because she's getting so much bigger. Um, this here is just like shelves for lotions and potions and things like that. And then I've actually got a cheat chart here for normal vital sign ranges that my friend Jenny made me and framed for me. And it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I've kept that thing for forever. I love you so much, Jenny, if you see this. Um, then stuffed animals down here, another shower chair here that really kind of sucks and I hate it. And it's the new one. So um, I'm kind of stuck with that and we're just kind of using the other one. I really need to find someone that can make me something custom because everything I found online, um, they all look the same and it's just not good for her. Um, this cabinet here, I had our um, home helper Jose make for me and it stores all her sheets and things like that. And then I've got a microwave here because, um, and I know it seems weird, a microwave in the room, but she does have problems with back pain and things like that because of her scoliosis. So we only use this to warm up like um, you know, the bean bags, the heated bean bags and things like that there. Um, then here is just more shelves on this side with more of her junk and her slowly but surely deflating Valentine's Day balloon there. Um, and then behind this, oh my gosh, I love reading these to her, you guys. So these are all of Madonna's books that she wrote. And I've got the whole collection. I've got more in the front living room. But I really, really love those books. And they're really, really good for girls. And I just, I love Madonna. I know she just did some... Um, um, questionable things in the media, but as an artist, I still truly appreciate her and love her so much. And Miriam loves her music. This IV pole here 
is where we connect her feeding pump. And I spray painted it hot pink. She, um, it was, it was black. And she is not fully blind. She is cortically blind, but she can see colors. And it was very important to me to make this room very bright and cheerful for her for that reason. Um, she is so limited in everything else that she can do. I thought that her room at least could be bright and cheerful. Um, my brother-in-law, Brian, spray painted the mini blinds blue for me. And I was super excited about that um, because I couldn't find um, any in the color that I needed. And then we've got a fan there that I painted um, because it was just white. So I took it completely apart and painted that. And then here is her hammock chair swing um, that my mommy bought her for her birthday last year. And then that connects to a track that actually goes all the way from her bed to the shower. And again, I painted the track and I painted the rails for the um, shower up there, um, or the track for the shower curtain. Um... I think that's going to be it. This is a special bed that pushes air in different places so that she doesn't get bed sores and things like that. And then over here is her Madonna poster with um, a shelf that's got her pull socks and just a little bucket, things like that. Um, I've got a camera here so that I can check on her um, whenever I want to if I'm tired and I don't feel like getting out of bed, but I'm sure she's okay, but I just want to peek. I've got that camera there and a monitor sitting by my bed. And then over here is her dresser and that's an air purifier vent thing. And then um, the medicine cabinet there just holds some meds and lotions and things like that. So that is going to be it. I think this is her room. I put so much work into it just just to I just wanted her to be happy and I wanted her to you know just be surrounded by pretty things oh and then my brother-in-law um installed this light for me but my friend Alan made this flower for the ceiling and it is absolutely gorgeous um I did not do this room by myself a handful of people that I would never be able to remember them all so I'm not even going to try helped me to create this space for her. And I just, um, you know who you are and I love you so much. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I hope that if you are a special needs parent, this kind of inspired you to, you know, do something with your own kids space to make it a little more fun for them. If you haven't already, if you have any questions or need any advice, um, I'm happy to answer for you. Love you guys so much. Bye.